Today we're going to build a pedal power generator using a 140 kV RC motor going into a bridge rectifier. Uh, and we're getting about 45 volts coming up into these uh, two wires going into a uh, charge controller that has variable speed, um, sorry, variable uh, amps and voltage settings on it. I'll show you how to do that. This is what's in the box, just basically just the, the circuit itself. Uh, it comes out to um, a couple of batteries. So I have a couple of uh, LifePo 4 batteries. Um, there are 12 volt replacements and they um, can take about 8 amps each. Adjust the voltage with the top button. Turn the dial, raise it, and press it to change the fields. I put it back to 29 volts with the volt button. And then to change the amps, just press the amps, the A button, and then turn the dial. So say we want to go to 5 amps. That's how we set that. Put it back to 2 to start. Press the, okay, spin the wheels a little bit. Start button. This is Now let's bump up again. Two. Done a couple different setups here and and this is the um, bike trainer version where I've got the uh, converted the bike trainer guts into using a um, RC motor to uh, generate electricity going into a you know the bridge rectifier there um, and I've also done uh, some with the e-bike motor so I've got this e-bike motor over here with a flywheel on it um, which uh, you've probably seen in my other one of my other videos um, I've got one that's kind of painted green, but this one's just another same flywheel. It's just a big steel donut um, that I uh, drilled some holes in uh, to get it to mount to the uh, e-bike motor. Uh, but the question that came to my mind as I was kind of pedaling both of these is it seemed harder, like it, I had to work harder to... Uh, generate the same amount of electricity with this um, bike trainer version versus uh, using the uh, e-bike motor with, with um, I mean, the flywheel plays some role, but the um, resistance seems to be higher, I think mostly due to the contact at the wheel, uh, the tire onto the, uh, the wheel of the trainer. Um, so um, I'm gonna do an experiment to see uh, if I can quantify what the difference in work is between the two uh, different designs. So the answer is yes, it is easier to pedal the e-bike motor. 
so when I was generating with the e-bike motor, uh, it was my heart rate at 100 watts, uh, steady for a while, was about 154. And then when I used the uh, bike trainer uh, version with the uh, RC motor, the uh, my heart rate was about 174. So it definitely was harder for me to generate 100 watts uh, with essentially the same setup across the board, um, just the switching out the, the motors. Um, so there you have it. Um, definitely better with e-bike motor. Um, so if you want more efficiency, um, I would say uh, try to go with that design.